Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. Uh, so I'm going to start a new series of videos on my channel. It's about CSS. Uh, when I reviewed my knowledge on CSS, I found there are still a lot of things I didn't know before. So this is the first episode. Hope it helps. Uh, it will be based on MDN document. And the first one is about uh, four keywords in CSS. It's initial, inherit, onset, and revert. So actually, I never used it before. Okay, let's begin. Uh, so the first one is about initial. Uh, here. Yeah, this is the MDN. Okay, the initial CSS applies the initial default value. So it's pretty e easy to understand. So we have this P tag. Uh, we set the color to red, but the EM tag, uh, we set the color to initial, then it will be black. Well, because this is the initial value. So this is pretty easy to understand. So yeah, that's it. The next one is inherit. As you said, it, it, it uh, has the value uh, inherit from its direct parent, right? So it says uh, it is specified to take the computed value from the property from its parent element. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is also in, uh, easy to understand. Like, uh, okay, let's say, just take the example here. So this M tag, if I set the color to inherit, it should be because this color is inherited, uh, inheritable property. Its default is inherit. So I say inherit, then inherit. Yeah, it's red. <laughs> it's a uh, pretty easy to understand on inherit. Okay, the next one is uh, unset. Well, this is a a little. A little, uh, how can I say, it? a little weird, a oh, weird, not weird. Uh, okay, so the onset it means I don't set any values. If it is, if it is inherited property, then it's inherit. If it is non-inherited property, then it's initial value. So take example here. Uh, we have three paragraph. Uh, one, the first one is p tag. The next one is wrapped in div. Another one is wrapped in div full bar. Uh, p tag have the color red and the p under bar has the color unset because the color is in inherited so if it is unset then it will have the color from this bar right so the bar is green so unset means green so actually the color here as the definition it says uh, the color it should be Wait a minute. Uh, I'm not here. I'm sorry. Here. As I said, because this color is inherited, so it's the same as inherit. Great. And the next one is border. Border is not inherit. So we have the same HTML structure. Uh, div has a border of green border. So this is a green border. P has the red border. So P, red border, red border. Except the last one, it has a black border, right? It's black border because it has the border card unset because border is not inherit property. So uh, it's the same as uh, initial. Yeah, if we use inherit, then it will be green, right? Inherit. Hmm? Ah, I'm sorry, it got about. It's the color, I would say, the, here, a border color, if it's inherited, then, yeah, it's green. Cool. So this is the initial, the default color, default value, inherit, get from parent, unset. It means, yeah, it's get uh, inherit for the inherited property, uh, initial for non-inherited uh, property. So every property actually has a, a CSS property have the rule of initial value what it is and is it inherited or not like the font weight. It's inherited, so the uh, ch children will have the font weight inherited from this root element, all right? If because it says to yes, cool. The last one revert very it's very long. 
Uh, please stay with me. Okay, so the reverse CSS keyword reverts the cascaded value of property from its current value to the value uh, the property would have had if no changes had been made by the current style origin. Well, simply put, uh, the revert means what it what happens, what the property would be if I remove the CSS code of uh, yeah, I, what if I remove the CSS code? Not this part of CSS code, but the whole CSS code based on the origin. So this is another concept of what is style origin, right? So there are three st style origins in, in, the, uh, in the browser. First one is default, user agent origin. If I open the, uh, the uh, dev console, you can see there's a bunch of, uh, like uh, this style sheet is from the Chrome extension. And this is from the CSS in the HTML, and this one, uh, no, okay, this this is not a not a good example. I'm sorry. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this one, user agent style sheet. This is the default value of the browser. So yeah, uh, this is the first one, the first origin, user agent origin. It says user agent style sheet. Next one is user origin. User origin is some style sheet added by user like uh, if like someone wants to change the font size a little bigger he might use some uh, chrome extensions to add extra style sheet to make the font bigger so this is the user origin is from the user the author origin means the author of the html it said yeah the the, the uh, most of the css origin will be author origin i think that like uh, the style here react css something so the css from the, the html so these are three three origins. Okay, now here become something uh, compl compl complex. So if the revert used by style on styles, it means author origin. Then it rolls back the property cascaded value to the user's custom style, means the user origin, if it exists. All right. If not, it means goes to uh, the default style. So there's actually a priority here. So the default, then the user, then the author. Okay, if this revert is used in uh, user custom style sheet, means the user origin, then the revert rolls back, rolls back to the default style. You might think that if the author of the HTML has defined some CSS and uh, the, uh, the user style, like from the Chrome extension, uh, reverse some style, then uh, the, the the styles in the user style in, the, in this extension is reverted, right? And the author the style could, must be applied, but it's not that way. I think we could think of this like a priority, like the first, first default style, then user style, then author style. So if you revert to the revert the uh, author style, then you must check if the user style exists, and then we check the default style. And if I if I, I revert directly at the second phase about the uh, user style, then the author style from the HTML is ignored. Right? So these reverse back to the default style. So let's just jump into some examples here. Okay, so the first one is some H3 head heading. Uh, we have the author style, a font weight normal, color blue, and we have an inline style, it said unset, right? Unset, as we said, font weight, a uh, font weight, uh, it is inherited. Unset, it says to, uh, unset, what is it? Unset is if it inherited, it said it's uh, inherit, right? Wait a minute. Okay. Cool. This. Okay. Font weight is unset. It means the font is uh, inherit. Yeah, and then color on set. Color is set to blue, blue. Yeah, if you see that this is blue, right? On set, then color is inherit. So if on set, it's inherit. So it's still black. Yeah, why? Because body has no other styles, right? Cool. And then we take a look at this p tag. It's the same, right? Nothing uh, special. We didn't. We didn't. Add, uh, we don't have any uh, styles for this. And the third one, font weight revert. If I 
the found way this revert is in the author origin remember author river origin and then we check user origin there's no author uh, user origin here so the revert will do what change the default style default style for h3 uh, h3 is bold right not bold like 700 i think it's just a uh, body is 700 so yeah it's bold so we can use revert so here we must notice that revert actually changed the default style default style is not initial value so if you change the initial initial yeah you see it's it's not bold it means that the heading the css for the heading uh doesn't have an initial value of bold but each browser actually most of the browsers have the default uh font way to bold so when we revert, it actually reverts the default style of bold, right? So this is actually interesting. Uh, remember, there's no user origin. Let's just take a look at what happens if, if there is our user origin here. Okay, so I open this, uh, open this new iframe page, and actually I've already added, uh, ex uh, injected style no ah no okay so i'll say i'll add, add class revert font weight uh font weight revert okay i save it and i will reload this page and i will comment out these this uh author origin style you see that it is blue because we define a style in the author or uh, author style, right? And then I add a class, say class equals revert font weight. Boom. You see, it's a uh, bold again. Even even we said set, set uh, font weight. Okay, even we set font weight here font weight normal oh, oh, oh i'm sorry <laughs> we can't write uh we can rewrite that okay so this style is from the user origin it says revert so the font becomes the default right even we set the here font normal you see even we said we set normal it's after the user origin but it's still the the revert takes pre precedent Cool. So this is revert. Following the order. Remember following the order, default, user, and author. Cool. So and the next one is revert all. We have this special all. I never knew this before actually. This all will revert all styles. Uh-huh. So if for the H3 here, it can revert any style, all the styles. Yeah. Cool. And revert on a parent. What does this mean? Uh, reverting effectively removes the value for the element you select with some rule and only for that element. Only for that element. So section have color dark green, P should be red. So this section, color green, P, red. So uh, this will be uh, green, this will be red. But the next one, section with the revert, it says color is revert. So this element will have a color what what's it what's what is it so this author so the revert means the user a user style there's no user style so default style so it should be black so these will have a color of black right but p uh, so this h3 and these uh text node will inherit the uh, black color but the uh, p tag here it has a style of color red so if I change the inherit, it will be black. Yeah, if I change change it to revert, it will still be black, right? If I set the initial, of course, it's still black. Cool. As it said here, revert keyword works exactly the same as on set in many cases. The only difference is for properties have a value set by the browser or by the custom style sheet. So as we set set for uh, as we 
already knew uh, the style for the headings. Initial values is not bold. So if we use unset, it will be normal. But for the most browsers, it will be bold. And for the uh, styles injected by the Chrome extension, uh, this revert will have a different behavior for that. Okay, so that's all for this one. Hope it helps. Um, there's a font weight here. Cool. So, so in this video, we have uh, uh, read uh, four uh, CSS keyword. One is initial, the default value, inherit, inherit from the parent, unset. Yeah, it's basically the mix for these two. Revert, basically same as unset, unless this default value uh, for an user styles. That's it. Hope it helps. Maybe, maybe uh, I. I <laughs> Maybe I didn't explain it well, and uh, I'll try better next time, okay? Uh, I'll keep this video uncut. Hope you help. See you next time. Bye-bye.